Chef Buff Army. I just came in from the Canadian cold to talk to you today about your nervous system. Why should you care? Because your nervous system is in large part responsible for how fast you build muscle and how fast you increase your strength. Let's explain all this cool shit on the board. I'm going to keep this video short and to the point by going over a couple essential points. Point number one, a nerve controls the muscle. Nerves will always control your muscle. Your brain controls your nerves. Every single muscle is attached to a nerve. If you want to fire the muscle, if I want to move my hand, I have to activate the nerve. This is done through my brain. My brain sends the signal down. This is important because you have different types of nerves and you have different types of muscles. Right? You have fast nerves and you have slow nerves. You have fast muscles and slow muscles. Research shows that the fast muscles, the muscles responsible for explosive actions, think powerful, you know, running back, sprinters, uh, Olympic lifters, are better for building muscle. So we would prefer, generally speaking, more fast muscle fibers. A fast nerve will always activate a fast muscle fiber. A slow nerve will activate a slow muscle fiber. We can't determine our makeup of our genetics. You know, how many muscle fibers we have, fast or slow. However, what we can do, now that we know that a nerve controls a muscle, what studies show is that innervation could take place. And what this means is that if you take a fast nerve, it would actually turn a slow muscle into properties resembling a fast muscle. In other words, the nerve determines what type of muscle fiber you have. So if you have a fast nerve attached to a slow muscle, theoretically of course, the properties of that slow muscle will start to resemble that of a fast muscle. And trust me when I say we want fast muscle fibers. If we know that fast muscle fibers are largely preferred when it comes to building muscle, can we influence what type of muscle fibers our cells produce? The short answer is in a way, yes we can. How? Once again, it comes back to the nerves. Nerves determine what type of muscle is developed. We know that muscle fibers are developed in the cells. That has to do with muscle protein uh, breaking down and being built again. But the rate of firing of the nerve attached to that muscle will influence what type of muscle fiber is formed. Meaning if the nerve is firing really fast, we got a fast nerve, it's firing very, very fast. The muscle fiber that's developed in that cell will be influenced by that. So fast nerves will help develop fast muscle fibers. This is why I always will say think explosive thoughts when you're training because you want to be able to quickly recruit and activate those muscle fibers. You want the nervous system to be very efficient. You shouldn't feel sluggish or stressed out. You got to be in a positive environment. Three, bringing this all together, your brain makes muscles stronger. Your brain controls your nervous system. The nervous system sends signals to those nerves which help control your muscles. But we're going to take this one step further. A study showed that envisioning working out will help increase your strength. Now the science is still being done on this area of research, but one thing that this implies that's interesting is that priming your nervous system. So as I said before, thinking explosive, big thoughts, thinking about success, thinking about training can help you train better, can help you lift more, can help you build more muscle. In other words, that old adage where you know they'll tell athletes, high performance athletes, picture success, picture yourself making the shot, uh, you know, scoring the touchdown, all those examples actually helps them achieve that end outcome. So the big tip, if we know that our brain makes our muscles stronger and can help increase our strength just by thinking about increasing our strength, you should think about always training success. And this is a big tip. I practice this on a frequent basis. When I'm not training, sometimes I'll just think about training, think about smashing my personal records, and by thinking about it constantly, it becomes a reality. I help bring it to reality because I've already done it in my brain a couple dozen times. I mean, that I would attribute part of my increase in my strength over the last year to visualizing that success and visualizing training. And I think if you look at a lot of individuals that will fail and miss lifts and not increase their strength, it's because they're scared of lifting that weight. What they think about in their head is failure instead of success. Your brain will help make the muscle stronger, helps make muscles stronger. So thinking about success and thinking about building muscle and getting stronger will help you get stronger. Four, we've been talking about how the nervous system is really cool, incredibly important for building muscle, and it is. But your nervous system also puts brakes on your muscle, meaning it limits how much muscle you can activate at any one time. Why? Well, it's a safety precaution. You see, 
Our body is meant and built for survival. We have a whole bunch of reflexes built into our body. If something comes close to our face, we're gonna blink and move away instantaneously. We don't even think about it. The same thing goes when it comes to our muscle. There's a limit on how much muscle fibers we can recruit at any given time and how much weight we can lift. If you want an example of this, I'm sure you've heard those incredible random feats of strength that occur in life or death situations. You know, there's a car crash and someone's trapped in the car and you have to get them out of the car so someone who's never worked out before will be able to deadlift 500 pounds in that life or death scenario to save that individual. This is unblocking that break on that muscle because our brain keeps that block to prevent us from doing silly shit from preventing us from dying in ordinary circumstances, you know, using too much muscle at once and potentially damaging ourselves. It's a precautionary break, but one that we can remove. How do we remove that? Well, probably the only practical strength tip I'm going to give you today is the super maximal hold. And what this means is whatever your maximal weight you could lift, let's say on the squat, it's 400 pounds. What you do is use approximately 10% or 5% even, so 420, 440 on the squat, and all you would do is hold that weight on your body. So if it's 420 on the squat, it's super maximal, it's 5% above your maximal load. You would take that, put it on the bar, unrack it, and stand and just hold it. This is potentiating your nervous system in the future, unblocking that break to handle more total weight. You're priming the nervous system. This is one quick example. The last key point is that studies have shown motivation will increase your strength. Why is this so? Well, it's because you're placing more of an importance on your training. Your brain will recognize because you're motivated, it means something to you. Your brain will think, well, you know what? He's taking this seriously. I better give him some more juice. I better, you know, the nervous system, we better fire him more efficiently. So if you're motivated, if you're positive, you'll be able to lift more weight and be more focused. I get back to that positive gym environment. There is so much to talk about when it comes to your nervous system. I was trying to give you a brief, solid primer on the nervous system and its relationship to your muscles and why it's important. Do you guys like this stuff? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you want to learn something today? Do you want to learn more? Let me know and I will definitely make more in-depth videos on this subject. As I said, you know, muscle fibers, motor recruitment, uh, the rate limiting factor, a lot of really cool stuff. But I want to evaluate, you know, if there's a demand for that. Guys, that is the video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share with friends, and subscribe. The nervous system is a hell of a thing. Buff Army, I'll be seeing you in the next video.